The Sony a6400 is a mighty little camera and I have taken a lot of photographs with this camera and shot a lot of POVs. But interestingly, I have never shot at night with it. And that is what we're going to be doing in today's POV for the very first time. I'm going to be going out onto the streets of Manchester with the Viltrox 24mm f1.8 prime lens, the Sigma 35mm f1.4 and the Sigma 85mm f1.4 to see what we can create in that city when the sun goes down. I imagine we're going to be taking a lot of photographs of trams. I've got an addiction and I do apologize. But all the photographs are going to be edited with my preset pack where you'll find 143 of them for only £15. Before I said and done, let's get out onto those streets and let's see what we can create. Woo! So here we are in Manchester with the A6400. I'm going to start with the 85mm. We're going to head down Manchester, just explore many different areas of it and see what we can create with this camera. Hopefully get to it right here with a cyclist. Face focus picking up quite nicely and being able to get a pretty cool starting shot right there. This photograph of this woman just sitting right here could be a pretty cool, interesting frame. Throw a really cool moody edit on it. We've got something good there. Get another shot in portrait. I actually much prefer it in portrait. Brought down the shutter speed a bit. Much better exposure there. What we're going to do for the first photograph in Manchester of a tram, we've got one right here. I'm going to just basically go lower down, get it centre of a frame, switch the camera to a centre focusing point and hopefully get a really cool shot from that. This is going to be nice. This is going to be sweet. Well, I can actually bring down the shutter speed quite a lot. So then bring the ISO down, fill the frame with it. That is exactly, I hope it's going to stop. That is exactly the kind of shot I want right there. Nice. Right, there's a subject here that I think looks pretty cool. And if I can get this frame right here, what as I'll do is I will stick them on the frame right there and get that shot. I can I can actually zoom in a little bit to that shot and I think it just isolates the subject quite nicely within the frame. So for this next shot, so I'm going to try and focus on some subjects within the tram itself. This could be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, this woman right here. Yep, good face focus picked up this guy right here. Oh, face focus picked up again. And we got a couple of good shots right there. That's a good technique to do. Just try and fit. If you want to get some like moody tram shots, focus on people sitting down on the trams. You can always get some pretty sick results, you know. All right, so for this next shot here, we've got this really cool window that is bringing up a lot of highlights, but we can actually use that to create some really cool silhouettes. So that is a good example right there. Look at that. That is so sick, actually. Oh, I'm vibing this. This is a vibe. Oh, wow. All right, so for this next shot, we've got a really sick frame right here. I am going to have to bring up the ISO quite a bit. But when we get this angle here, we're going to get to it hopefully pretty cool. Yes, yes, it's building up to something. Take a couple of different angles. Choose my favorite one later in post. Oh, yes. Oh, that is sick. That is so good. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Next shot, we have got this reflection right here, which we might be able to do something with. Get nice and low down. Oh, that is actually looking really nice. Let me adjust the settings a little bit. Get things where we want them to be. Make sure we're focusing on the building right there. This is really good stuff right here. Oh, that reflection is so darn clean. I love it. This is a really cool silhouetted shot right here. I'm going to focus on the people inside the food cart. And, oh, I vibe that. What I'm going to do now is go down again. See if we can get a bit of reflection. Don't think we can. No, you're all right. You're all right. Can't get that much of a reflection in. But I think we have got a really cool shot right there anyway. This is a really good shot right here with the 85mm lens really like her because she's lit up with the uh, food stall right here i'm able to get some really cool moody shots get another one right here which looks pretty good and get one right there two trams at the same time get the shot i think i was able to get it just in time oh that's all right it's all right it's all right not brilliant it's all right get a photo of this person right here nice here we go play around with a bit of foregrounds Oh, that might be something there. 
right there that might be something i think yeah i think that's actually a pretty cool shot right there right you get a photograph right here the tram a really cool reflection shot right here oh that is so sick honestly oh that is Woo! i think right there been able to get oh whoa 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 that is a sick reflection shot like that i'll take that we've got another reflection shot right here that we can grab i'm using the 24 mil vault trucks for this one. Oh, so if we focus on the building right here at f2 settings are pretty good photos are pretty good reflection is on point right there all right so for this next shot right here we've got the britannia we've got these yellow lines and once the traffic's clear what we'll do is i'm going to focus on the yellow lines and then get the Britannia there so we have a nice composite. Oh yes, that is the kind of composite we like. Right, so for our next shot, we've got a tram right here. We've got this reflection. You know what we're gonna do. Let's settle the focusing. I'm gonna set it to a, where should I set it to? A flexible spot. I'm gonna put it more towards the top of the frame because I want it to be focused on the tram and not get mistaken. Oh, that shot right there is a banger. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. I'm happy. So we're now at Chinatown, and this is where we might be able to get some really cool shots. So I'm going to use, of all subjects, a Nissan Micra as a foreground. But bear with me. So we've been able to get the lights reflecting on the car itself. And then we can just focus on that part of the building right there. And that is the coolest photo you ever see of a Micra. Mainly because it's not in the photograph and it's not been shot. Stealth mode activated. So the reason I'm out here today with the Sony a6400 and just prime lenses is because they have a f-stop number of like f1.4, f1.8, which is better in lower light conditions and also means I can have as much light entering the camera as possible without needing to use a super low shutter speed. Because if I was to use a super low shutter speed with the a6400, it might introduce some shake because this doesn't have five axis in body stabilization. So by using prime lenses, it puts me in the best position possible to hopefully be able to get some really stable, really clean shots even in these lower light conditions right so for this next shot we're going to get a really cool reflection of the tram right here in landscape absolutely killing it right there oh wow that is actually such a sick photograph man that is a shot that has been delivered to the max right there i love that i'm going to continue getting some more reflection shots but i'm going to try and go gently into the middle right here oh it's quite deep oh shit that was a mistake oh my foot is like absolutely in the water right now but it is worth it oh i'm getting oh damn that was not worth it because i've just got water in my shoe <laughs> that was so not worth it oh, come on center go center go center go center or go home get a photo of these people nice street shot and we have got a tram coming nice and center this is what i love this is what i vibe let's get a cool shot of it so I'm going to be just about here, go right low down to the ground. Oh yes, shooting at 1320 per second, F14, ISO 1250. Nice. That is so good. That is so good right there. Tram, let's get a tram, guys. I'm going to call today's POV just a tram POV, probably. A lot of you are probably screaming at me like, please stop with the trams. Never. Never will I stop the tram. This. Nice. Whilst of waiting, let's shoot another one, but this time I've dropped the shutter speed to 115. Amazing. That's nearly all the photographs I took with the A6400 in Manny. Now I say nearly because some of them weren't shown and that was because of the GoPro. The GoPro recorded all the visuals, but on a number of clips around Chinatown, it just didn't record the audio at all. Like you can see it on screen right now, there's just no audio track, no data whatsoever. And it's not the first time I've actually had this issue, but the last time I had this issue, 
it was over a year ago so i thought it was just a one-time thing i'm gonna have to monitor this going forward and um if there is going to be a continuous issue with this gopro i might just have to bite the bullet and upgrade to a newer gopro but yeah i have no idea why this has happened i didn't have a clue what the issue was but here are the photographs on screen that i did take in that time period where there was no audio i do apologize for that um, I feel like today's POV would have been a bit longer and a lot of those photographs I just really liked around Chinatown so I was a bit gutted about the audio and I feel like today's POV was a bit fucked up because um, I focused too much on trams and I do apologise for that but I hope you have enjoyed the POV nevertheless. But I do promise this one thing, if you do want to see some A6400 night POVs in the future then I will make sure i don't take too many photographs of trams now i can guarantee this because i'll make sure i go to a city that is void of trams <laughs> but yes regardless anyway all of that stuff said let's jump into the hashtag cp photos and see what you guys have been creating starting today with these frames by chris g media where i am vibing the composites and the color grading on them shots. That first one for me is the true king because it has got the shadow, it's got some action going on and it's got a fantastic view and all of them are just fantastic but that one takes it for me. Oh, I'm vibing the uh, framing on this shot and the leading line we've got right there as well by Jao from Chicago downtown. That is a pretty awesome shot right there, well captured. We've got some frames from St. Paul right here by Kotas. I think I've completely butchered that and I do apologise, but these are all a businessman one right there. I think that was shot at sunset. Damn, that is a vibe. Oh, that leading line shot with that street. Dang. That is so cool. All right, these are some awesome photographs of St. Paul's. You have captured it from nearly every single angle and smashed every single one of them. See, I'm not the only one who's obsessed with uh, trams. Here we go, one by Shot Free Shoot 5, a moody tram shot from uh, Poland. These are some really sick frames. Come on, come on, just, just trams are sick for photographs, right? I feel like I'm trying to justify it. These are some really cool shots. And let's have a look at one more today. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go with this one because I like the framing, I like the silhouette, I like the blue tones by Val Visuals. Dude, that is a really sick shot. Where is that? Like, that could be anywhere in London. That's what I love about it. It's just many different staircases. It is so cool. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to be leaving today's POV video. If you did like it, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the bell icon to so be notified whenever I release a new video. It would be really deeply appreciated. And we're getting super close to 30,000 subscribers. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll hit that pretty soon. But I do want to say this. Have a great evening, day night whatever you are whatever you're doing have a great one have a great day and i'll see you lot in the next one so until next time create explore and inspire later <laughs>